on Soundwave8084 here in the Transformers Studio Series review. In this review, take a look at Core Class Ravage from the Transformers Bumblebee movie. Right here, you can see the figure and the packaging. Packaging has some nice artwork up here. If you've ever seen my shop review, you know there is no plastic on here anymore. You can actually reach in and just play around with the figure while he's strapped inside to the backing. I didn't show off in the Shockwave uh, review, but you do have a little pullout. I mean, you can keep this if you want to. I don't know why it wants to throb. It's a throbbing good time. But you do have uh, this backdrop here. It's very small. Uh, this is the same backdrop in Shockwave just in Ravage's packaging. First packaging, you get more of the artwork in Core Class side. 11 steps gets you all the way around from Excited Ravage to Box Ravage. Some accessories it comes with. Right here, we have this little box shaped thing. I guess it probably shoots off some missiles. You see the little things in there. We'll take this. It just pegs in right here behind his head. I can line it up. I'm not very good at that, apparently. And that gets that on. And then you come with these little missiles here that you go very much G1 back here on the back legs. So he has his back leg missiles. You get two of those. And he also comes with his big rocket. He gets so excited. And yes, you peg it right here on his underbelly. Big cock rocket right there to blast any Decepticons. And when he gets extra excited... Whoo-wee! Now, I'm not one for that down here. This underbelly, this, uh, this rocket look underneath. I don't really like that. So I'm not ever going to actually do that. Articulation on the figure, you've got lots. You got the upper, you got the knees, you got the feet. You even have an, another one right here at, at the ankle. So you got a lot of articulation on the back legs. Tail can go up and down. And you have the same here on the front legs, ball jointed up top. You got like the knee bends here, and you got an ankle here. So you got a lot of stuff going on on Ravage. The head only goes up. And down there's no left right or turning and the mouth does open so you can have them talking there's a neat little beard down there it's like yeah and the colors on ravage you got some red paint some white paint right here he's molded in this gunmetal gray and this light uh, gray right here and all the other things are painted beautifully done paint right here on the side of the head and as well the eyes are painted yellow red paint up top lots of little paint again on these little core class figures next to core really... class sound wave he doesn't really scale with that you know ravage is a core class figure he's actually meant to scale with voyager class studio series sound wave that's what he's meant to go with that is because they are from the same movie but you can see the scaling here with the core class and with a voyager scale figure now the trick here is getting him transformed into his little box mode and shoving it right inside Soundwave's chest. So we'll do that transformation. But first, before I get into that, this little uh, rocket that he came with. And what I do with this is you take Soundwave's uh, gun up here and you just plug this in. And you can so get some G1 inspired looks out of Bumblebee Soundwave. Alright, so let's transform Ravage into his square box mode. What we're going to do first is we're going to remove this little piece that's sitting behind his head. Don't lose it. It is very tiny. And you're just going to take it and put it in this little peg hole where his big rocket would have gone. If you had that still in, you would want to take that out as well. Um, like I said, mine's on my sound wave. Then you'll take his back hinge legs. There's a gray piece underneath here that's just tabbed in. You want to just push uh, this down you see this piece comes out and we'll want to fold down to the underbelly he's got to keep his legs out I like that then grab this whole gray piece here is going to hinge down and go right behind it just to get that, all that in take his head you want to fold that down here until you hear it lock into place close the tail up meets right there at the kitty cat's mouth Take his front arms, move them forward, remove his missiles from his legs, straighten these out. And you're going to bend them here. There is a peg hole here and pegs right here by his feet. And you're just going to fold this up and then that's just going to peg in right there. 
Then you take his front arms, it's going to bend this way, the front foot's going to go back. There is a small little black tat or peg there, these little bitty peg holes here, and that's going to line up on that, and that's what you're going to tab or peg together. Now you have a little problem here a lot of times. I do, you know, with the foot actually wanting to go back the correct way. Do the other one as well. Now if his feet don't go more flush right here with this piece, that's because you need to have his back legs as straight as possible right here. Because if these are angled even just slightly forwards, you're not going to get his feet to go up to the required distance and to be able to stay pegged in. So let's bring in the sound wave. And we're going to open him up. And you're just going to get the camera to focus on him. And we're just going to stick um, Ravage inside of him. Now, I do have this, even no matter that, his feet want to catch on these little indentions here, and it will pop his foot off. Just letting you know. Because this shouldn't be this damn hard, but there we go. Got it in there. There is Ravage neatly, or just tightly, inserted in the sound wave. Now, you want to close this up. It is a very, very tight fit. And there is Soundwave with Ravage inside of him. That sounds bad. Ravage has now entered Soundwave. Nope. Nope. No, nope. oh, he's in there. All right. Don't worry. He can't get his button. I'm not made like Siege and our uh, Netflix Soundwave. But don't worry. In the movie, I didn't touch it either. I just went, Ugh! and my thing went, Beep. so that's how it works. And then you can now eject him out. Come out. So you just have to push him from the outside. And then you can. Pew! I'm a garbage compactor. There you go. Final thoughts on Core Class Ravage. I, I really do like the Ravage. Uh, like I said, the little under rocket. Uh, just perfect for uh, your uh, studio series Soundway from the Bumblebee movie. That's where that will stay. Uh, the other things on the figure, the paint apps, everything looks good. He's got really great posability. I kind of wish they could do a little more of the head, but it's very G1 esque. In the posability a mouth can open that's a cool little feature now this now this the alt mode being pretty much a compacted square of garbage or a hunk of metal is you know i guess a disappointment it's not a cassette tape getting it into sandwich chest again is i don't know if it's that's just me but i'm having a little bit of problem there but most of the time he's just going to be out next to sandwich that his pet ravage anyway thanks for watching this review until the next ones peace out